Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, Ida Gudjonsson. It has been 13 long and arduous years since I burst fresh-faced onto the scene with my first Christmas message. And so I thought it was high time that I did something different. I want to speak to all of you, my loyal listeners, my sweet, submissive subjects, my voracious viewers, my faithful fans, and your long-suffering friends and family, forced to endure five minutes of absolute nonsense every single Christmas. I wanted to speak to all of you face to face. What a year 2023 has been, full of highs and, yes, some lows, and an absolutely staggering number of Tuesdays. They are relentless. You can't move for them. Just when you think you've got over the last one, bang, there comes another one. Did you know there has been over 400 Tuesdays in this year alone? This cannot be allowed to continue. I'm looking to reducing that number and minimising the impact of Tuesdays as a matter of urgency as we move forward into 2024. This year, we have seen yet another season of the Great British Bake Off come and go. Cinema has staged an unprecedented comeback by glorifying rampant consumerism and the atomic bomb. And in the world of sports, Manchester City have bought, sorry, won another Premier League title. And Aston Villa are somehow inexplicably good now. This year, our favourite colour was yellow. And seven was voted the best number of all time. And who could forget in February when hordes of aggressive, fire-breathing ravens descended upon our lands, ravaging our countryside, swearing at our children and preying upon the elderly and the infirm. Oh, that's right. We all forgot because the government altered our memories. Wake up, sheeple! Speaking of the government, this year we really cut back and restricted ourselves to just the one prime. And of course, we witnessed the coronation of a new king, David and Victoria Beckham's publicist. In news that you may have missed from around the world, Australia banned the use of the letter E in all public spaces. And Joe Biden is continuing to be the president of the United States of America. Now, if you are hoping me to, to bring these themes together to encourage us to come together one another as a community and work together for the betterment of our future. If you're wanting hope in the times, the difficult times that we find ourselves in, then I'm afraid you have not been paying attention in the past 13 years. What I do have is this. You'd better watch out. You'd better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty and who's nice. Oh, I'm afraid Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Yes, you'd better watch out. You'd better not cry, but not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Ah, oh, that's nice. I just want to wish you all a wonderful Christmas and a fabulous New Year. It's goodbye from me. What do you mean, is that it? <laughs>